one thing I am going to say, only drill driver bit set I will never buy again is Ryobi. Rio, those bits are absolute garbage. Alrighty guys, so it's been a long time since I talked about drill driver bits. All right, so I want to slap a little bit of reality on you guys. There is actually a best uh, drill driver kit available and, it, and uh, many other channels proved it. And with this channel, the Makita XPS bits are actually the best. These ones last the longest and they actually grip pretty, pretty well onto the, onto the screw that you are driving in. All right, but this is the reality. How could, uh, how could a drill driver set be the best if it's lost? Here is the reality for that we all face. Uh, uh, Makita is the best, but my favorite to use is Hilti. And this kit cost $90, all right? This kit cost $90, it's a nice case. It's, a, it's a very neat on how it is inside. And the, uh, a good chunk of the cost is, is the nuts that are uh, bits that uh, actually come with it. Even a drill bit set I spent $90 on, I lost two PH2 Phillips heads. All right, and that's devastating to me. I got it right here. I got one, I got my last one right here. But no matter how well you try to keep track and keep your bits in its spot and organized, they always get lost. They, you will always lose your bits. Your favorite bit, gone. The one that you first buy the kit and you use it, it's already, it's probably already gone that first day and you have no choice but to use another one. All right, so when it comes to these bits, the worst thing that happens to them is they get lost. And I lose them, you lose them, your brother loses them, your sister loses them, your father loses them. These get lost and that's why these are actually, uh, at a normal price of like $25 for a kit besides the Hilti. And that's only because this comes with, this came with like five nut setter uh, sets. And the nut setter is what drives it up, uh, drives the price up. But if you bought the, the kit itself for the drill driver bits, it's, it's a fraction of that cost. One thing we are gonna talk about uh, is the cases. Now I, I, the, uh, I still have others that I gotta uh, uh, sort of work with but i've worked with these ones for the past i'd say year uh and so i could tell you the ones that i worked with these all right so we have dewalt hilti cobalt makita and milwaukee all right uh after having to deal with these cases for a while let's go through that let's go through them one by one and i'll tell you uh, which ones are actually a better case and so let's go to the dewalt this is a brand new case i got this this was on uh sale uh, a few weeks ago uh, when I uploaded this video. And so this is a brand new, I gave all my drill, uh, DeWalt drill driver sets to my brother-in-law cause he loves, he's a hardcore DeWalt fan. And so I needed to get a set of my own, but when it comes to the case, DeWalt case is actually pretty easy to use and it's pretty easy to customize. And so I, I love it because one thing that I hate is trying to get these individual half inch or one inch drill driver bits out and it, it, it just won't come out. I end up getting like a needle nose pliers to take them out. But this case, this is the, the tough case. This does come with its own little, this does come with its own little uh, case inside. So you could put your extra bits in there for your, your, your go-tos if you will. And so yeah, it is, it's a clear case. You can see what it actually is and that is a benefit. And this actually connects to other tough, uh, DeWalt tough case uh, drill driver cases. So that's one benefit of having the DeWalt. And so yeah, that, that is the DeWalt and the DeWalt case is actually easy to use when it comes to trying to get the bits out. All right, on the other hand, M Milwaukee, this is one of the toughest cases that I need ever needed to work with to get these bits out. Now, I do have uh, other cases than this. This one's brand new. I have other cases than this, but getting these out is actually a pain in the butt because these are very strong to, you know, you can't, these don't twist up very easily. They, see then it, it just doesn't come out like the DeWalt does. These are really, really on there. 
and yeah, so like if uh, I have another case to where they're they're even tougher to get out, and so it it takes some might to get these out. It really does. See, like that. See, even to get these down, you know, it just doesn't. It's not as simple. See, it's not just a simple sliding up and get it. It actually takes some might to get them up and to get them down. But yeah, Milwaukee does have the one of the toughest cases to work with. I'm not talking about durability. I'm talking about getting the bits out and keeping them organized and easy access to what you got to what you got to get done. The Makita case, on the other hand, is the opposite. The, these are too easy to uh, too easy to take out, and as you can see, it's the only case to where I have floating pieces. These pieces were in their spot. I have four pieces just floating. These pieces were in their spot, but the, the like as you can see, like that's good. Very easy, single finger, uh, uh, goes uh, up and down very easily, which that's a good thing. But on the other hand, this is the opposite when it comes to keeping the bits in because they come out like nothing and they just fall out with your regular use of the, of the case. So yeah, the Makita is the opposite. Makita is too uh, easy to where the pieces actually just fall out. Yeah, see already, just like that, I got pieces falling out. So that is, that's Makita. But these are, these actually are the best uh, drill driver bits uh, that you could buy. Like these last you, will, these will last you a while. But like I said, it doesn't matter if they last you a while if you lose them. All right, so let's do Hilti next. When it comes to Hilti, this is, this is a $90, uh, uh, this is a $90 kit. And that's because of these nut setter bits. It, I think it came with five. And each of these is like 15, 20 bucks. These are heavy duty. Uh, these do have ma magnets and uh, ball bearings in there to help keep their, keep them in position on uh, top of the screw or bolt. And so, yeah, but like uh, this, uh, this is my most used uh, Phillips PH2 screw driver bit. And as you can see, it's still, let's focus in again. As you can see, it's still pretty much brand new. There isn't any wear and tear on the, the shape itself. Just the surface was uh, barely scratched up a bit. And so this is my most used PH2. And I make sure I do not lose this because this is the second one in the, in the kit. And I make sure that I do not lose this. I always keep this around so I don't, I, I, so I don't lose it. And so I lost the first one the first day. I was working on the boat and it fell into the grass, gone. And I, I, don't, I don't have a, a, a magnet, to, a big enough magnet to actually help find it. So, so yeah, it's somewhere in my grass, probably gone by now, buried. But yeah, that is Hilti and Hilti is expensive because of the nut setter bits, but these bits are good. I also use the rest of them as well. The only ones I haven't used yet are the square heads. I have never needed to use these yet, so I use everything else but those ones. But those ones. But yeah, that is Hilti. All right, then last is actually Cobalt, you know, from the ones that I've tested. I still need to get Craftsman. I still need to get Bosch. This is the first Bosch bit that I, uh, when it comes to drill driver bit that I bought. I use Bosch uh, self-driving spade bits all the time in videos, but when it comes to a drill driver bit, this is the, my, my first for Bosch. So I got to pick up a kit for Bosch and Craftsman and Flex and Rigid. I, I can't find a Rigid one, but there are other bit sets that I need to get. But as you can see, the same thing right here. I ha You have floating bits already. I have three of them, yeah, which floating pieces is not good because that's how you lose them. All right, so as you can see, it does have its own little storage right there. It does have a lock to help keep those locked up like that. You know, which that, that is good. So that also means it's easy to pull up as soon as you unlock them. Just like that. And when it comes to the individual ones, they pack these so tight to like, I, I do have big hands. All right, they pack these so tight to where I, it's actually hard to like get, like, like right, right there. 
There we go. You know, it's 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 a good thing that it doesn't. It's a good thing that it doesn't just slide off, but they they are a bit tight in there, which is it's actually not bad. Uh, Cobalt is actually a good case. It does have the own it, uh, it does have its own position for the sleeve right there, and so yeah, that is Cobalt. It does have a rubber molding on the side of it to help keep it uh, in place, and so does Hilti. Hilti has a good rubber molding right here. The, all the others do not. Uh, it's just plastic. But yeah, the, but Cobalt actually does have a good case. Uh, I, I haven't used their bits too much, but for, uh, I am missing a couple, I think. Yeah, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six. They're somewhere in here. And so, yeah, but like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, bits you get because you always end up losing them. And so, yeah, uh, all of these cost between like $15 and $25. And so, yeah, one thing I am going to say, only drill driver bit set I will never buy again is Ryobi. Rio, those bits are absolute garbage. Because for like about $4 more, you can get like Makita or Milwaukee or DeWalt. You know, it's like Ryobi bits are just a waste of time. I love Ryobi, I love the company, I love what they're doing, being innovative, but their drill driver bits are garbage. And so, yeah, that's a, I don't really like using Ryobi bits during uh, anything because they do not last long at all. They really don't. Ryobi bits are garbage and I highly recommend you guys do not get them. So it'll just be it'll just be a waste a waste of money. Just want to show you guys the reality of drill driver bits. You will lose them, and then you, your favorite uh, bits end up being lost anyway. So it doesn't matter what uh, what set you get, what brand. But I highly recommend you do not buy Ryobi. Ryobi's drill bits that are garbage. I they I break them all the time. Uh, break them, snap them, lose their. Uh, lose their shape so yeah so that's pretty much it, you guys i hope you found, found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave and nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time